Hey everybody, welcome. We're Galactron ah. FM. This is our AMA. Oh, yeah. right, AMA so is Commander Nebulous. I am <laughs> Warp Lord Finch. I'm Groove Master Yuno. I'm Cosmic <laughs> Assassin Eris. Hope you have a good time. <laughs> Sit back. Jump, grab a stick of celery. Hey yo. Ew. That's my favorite snack. What? Give me ear. Celery, Strap the it. most inferior vegetable. <laughs> Disgusting. Like so, Shino Ovens, Excalibase, and Captain Amnesius, they all ask, when and how did we form, who founded the band, and general background and lore of each member? Uh, my, my backstory is, uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a robot guy. Um, I was created for the intention of protecting uh, the, the guy that built me. Uh, he died, uh, to like a shady, uh, businessman, okay. or woman, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, Gyrus, Gyrus is soul, Gyrus is soul. Uh, and so the only thing I could have done in that situation is, uh, kill him. Uh, I had to kill the person that killed my creator. Gyrus. It only made sense. Gyrus. And then, uh, God, Gyrus is soul. Wait, no, don't, no, wait, whoa, whoa, not that guy, not that guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, yeah, Ungar Rissel, Ungar Rissel, uh, Ungar, and then, uh, <laughs> un, 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 un God Rissel, take that back, 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 uh, 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 <laughs> then, uh, and then after that, I kind of went on, like, an accidental murder spree, not in rage, just kind of, like, it was working, I was good at it, that's what kind of what I was built for, uh -huh. only in drastic situations, so, with no owner, no leader, I kind of went, rogue if you will um and then uh oftentimes we'd always have these witty like chase scenes nebulous and i he'd kind of like find me and be like hey you like know those the, scooby you know, those old scooby-doo scenes where there's yeah like, like the, like the scooby-doo scenes the doors and shit <laughs> yeah it zooms in on his face and it's time. like you violated the law you violated because i don't want to kill him i mean he was just doing his job and then, yeah uh, eventually there was a point where he um kind of he went on his vacation year or vacation life it's like 100 years or so he gets every 500 years so, don't to say my vacation. lore well i'm telling you because in that time that's when you went and were like hey we should the camera and be in a band. Fine. <laughs> it's clarification. It's not, I'm not Fine. telling you. It's, it, 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 they know it now. They, uh, that's, this, <laughs> they, everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. You, yeah. That's my, that's my lore. I killed, uh, and then I stopped killing to do music. <laughs> TLDR. 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 I killed. I don't kill. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. So, uh... I stem from the, uh, the 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 tallest of the three pillars of creation, right? Mm, that's me. That's me. And uh, so, if, if common knowledge at this point, I live in a Looney Tunes cartoon, right? I'll put some basketball with LeBron James. Uh, it was a sexy bunny. There's James some LeBron. LeBron ja what? Bitch, put a LeBron James sound effect in there. Mm -hmm. Whenever I say LeBron, LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James. so everyone knows what I'm saying. LeBron James. And then that like that sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put some put some Hell's Kitchen violin in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <we're> just, doing, uh, <laughs> just add make it like a Bollywood film. <laughs> yeah. Like over exaggerated edits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, I stem from the. Uh, the, the the tallest of the three pillars of creation, right? Mm, that's me. That's me. And uh, so, if, with common knowledge at this point, I live in a Looney Tunes cartoon, right? I'll put some basketball with. LeBron James. Uh, it was a sexy bunny. There's James some. LeBron. Of course, I had the title of Groove Master because uh, I was fighting gladiator music battles, if you will. Uh, I fought a raccoon and a blue bird. Uh, it was a gumball machine there too. I don't know why, but I, of course, I won. Uh, and my 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 dear helmet is forged in the river of music. So you know that's kind of pog. Well, I'm an intergalactic navigator from my planet, 
and I was convicted of the crime of licking doorknobs, which is illegal on other planets, so... Remember, licking doorknobs is illegal on other planets. I was exiled to Earth, where I play bass now, because I need to make money. Well, as you know, I'm a star commander going by the name of Nebulous, and, uh, you know... Saving the galaxy, making peace, making good, making sure everything's a okay, hunky dory, everything's good. I came across a certain member. Uh, you may know him, my cosmic assassin, Eris. Cosmic. Uh, I was told he was doing some 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 fishy things about the universe. And I just, can't I mean, I just can't have that in in my sector. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. See, I, hey, didn't you know, I didn't know. Stop that, boy. What you stop that? And uh, my task was to just, you know, see what see what the heck is going on. And uh, I don't know, one night I just heard him drumming and he was just tapping away on those tippy taps and I just, you know, I couldn't help myself. I just had to go up to him. I say, hey, we want to start a band. And, uh... Sure. And that's that. Sure, eh? That's what happened, You're on your eh? phone? I'm telling a story and you're on your di you're on your phone? <laughs> Who's on their it's phone? Okay. It's <laughs> Get off your phone. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Sorry. No phones All at right. the dinner table. <laughs> just just Get putting it on silent. And then, uh, you know, things just found their way. I was watching Looney Tunes one day. I saw my friend Grovester Juno in there. Yeah, that's me. I said, I said, oh my goodness, oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta get this guy. He's, a, <laughs> he's a heck of a basketball player. It's true. I've, that, I've played that, with that, some. That obviously means he can play the guitar. I think it, so I honestly, had it to has call to him in. I had to go, hey, Junester, mm -hmm. you want to come in play some guitar for me? Yeah, eh? <laughs> is this the, is this the canonical <laughs> Nebulous voice? Yeah. <laughs> this is just what I've sounded like. This is just always what I sound like. Right, right. I forgot. Yeah. yeah he no, puts on his radio like talk show voice. That's his, he's no, like. this is a normal voice, but he puts on yeah. uh, the talk show voice <laughs> when he's doing. <laughs> and Wait, my name is Nebulous. We were all you... just we were all just running around one day doing our doing our things, and uh, we met this uh, bird kind of feller. And uh, he wanted to start this uh, radio program. We were like, oh, well, why not mix the two things uh, and just start start our own thing? Mm hmm Yeah, we did. That, that's exactly how I remember it. You forgot about Cornelius. <gasps> uh, Fisher asks, what's your favorite... Uh, wait, I can't read. Okay, what's your <laughs> music process like? <laughs> What's your music process like? Um, does someone usually is someone usually the head writer, or is it more of a communal, collaborative experience? I would say mostly, mostly it's someone's idea, and they kind of send more of an outline of the song, and then they're like, "Here's this." I mean, if you want to change up these, the way these like these are voiced, go ahead. Um, just say like, like simple they they kind of slap down a chord progression some drums some bass some keys and then they uh, they send it off and they're like here's an idea i had and we're like oh we could i could do this with that or i could i could stop <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so far, the only song we've actually all 100% worked on together that was like a full-on collaborative idea was uh, Digital Analysis. From our first EP, On Air. Out now, on every streaming service. <laughs> also, Fifth Dimension, our newest single. Go fucking listen to it. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey. I can't with this shit. I just <laughs> Tiny Tube asks, what's your favorite part of the creative process? 
Uh, I have kind of, I have two favorite parts actually. The uh, uh, and finish me the left and the right. Uh, <laughs> that it, <laughs> yeah, it's actually the left hearing the left side of the song and the right side. <laughs> You know, I like hearing that stereo. <laughs> mm, that delicious stereo. Anyway, that delicious, go. funky stereo sound. I like it, writing guitar parts, of course. I think it's super fun. And I like trying to think more, which I don't really do. <laughs> but I like trying to think up solos. It's fun because I get to utilize the, the thing in my noggin that I never use. And then hearing, of course, hearing the final final mix of the song, That's which cool. is, it's always good because you hear like you you feel accomplished. Um, yeah, I've always I've always liked um, I've always liked making different harmony. 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 Oh. Harmony. Especially with Talkbox, like just I don't know, hearing like a choir of Talkbox, so is just so nice and satisfying. It is though. My favorite thing, a little bit of a unreleased secrets, but um, Whoa. from one song in the next album, there's a there is a specific harmony that I I fucking love. Uh, I think you will too. Mhm. Mm also, I would say, like, just, yeah, like, hearing everything coming together at the very end. Just being able to have something that, that we can, like, show everybody is very, very nice. And... Um, you kind of stole mine. Um, I like, um, as of recently, I kind of realized my favorite part is, like, listening to, like, um, listening to, like, pieces of the song come together specifically when we do like covers mm -hmm. like when we did uh like fraggle rock i think i i started it by doing the drums and then i think it was juno did guitar then finch added bass and then nebulous added all the keys and all that and then was it you that mixed it nebulous I uh, so, yeah. yeah no that one, i yes, think he I mixed, mixed that one and like hearing it go from like my starting drums and i i'm always like i don't know if this will be good but like maybe once everything's there it'll sound good and of course like every time without fail like once it gets to each other like at least anything else gets added to that it already sounds like mm -hmm. so much better and like i love hearing the kind of like the path it goes of, yeah. like kind of like the building of it and then it's like when it's done it's like this is good you know, like it started from here, now it's here. It's like, yeah, <laughs> it's a thing. When, yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah, when we all contribute our own kind of vision, and it all works together and kind of mixes. Like that's, getting from the outline to the final product is the best. Yeah, and that's a good thing about a band too. Like, if you send something that you're kind of like iffy about, you can get other people's opinions on it and. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, if, if something just doesn't sound right, they can be like, oh, maybe make it a little more cool. <laughs> maybe try okay, a little bit. Yeah, make it good. Make it good. No, yes. Fucking stop being, it up. Yeah, stop being bad. Stop being shit at it. Fuck! Oh, <laughs> you're feeling your disco light. No! What is that? Oh. Is that vegetable oil? What is that? Like don't don't, don't reveal. <laughs> That's how Juno is gets really good at guitar. <laughs> Friday and Bree both ask, "What other instruments can we play individually?" I I can only play bass. I can only play bass reliably, but I can play a little bit of synth and a little bit of guitar. I I, I dabble in synth. Um... Your synth dabbler. Um, it's I your play. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mainly play. Well, right now I mainly play synth keys. So a little bit of whirly. It's not any different keys, but you know what I mean. Um, I play. I, I, I like playing a lot of funk guitar. 
uh, very, very inspired by by Corey Wong. Can't get enough of that, that guy. I like playing bass. Uh, I play bass a lot. <laughs> Fun fact, bass is my favorite instrument. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. No, it actually is though. I, I, I do. I, I, I like the bass. Um, bass is the most fun instrument. I call dibs on it though. He does so, call uh, dibs. Oh. I got there a little. I got a little late. But, um. <laughs> also, fun fact before Cornelius, before Eris, I was the original drummer of GFM for about three <gasps> days. <gasps> Um, well, oh, I play uh, drums, I, and um, th these are these are kind of like drums. They're like pads, but they make drum noises. Um, I like to consider myself like, in the broad sense, like a percussionist, because that's what I did. In, uh, in my free time, it's like, you know, I didn't just play like only drums, or like only percussion instruments or only like mm -hmm. xylophone or anything i got one by the way there's one right here this is xylophone uh but like i i can i like to consider myself more of a percussionist than that like trying not to limit myself to like one instrument but i mean i play drums <laughs> why are you laughing <laughs> i don't know what happened i wasn't paying attention <laughs> Uh, favorite snacks. Favorite snackies. What's your favorite mm. snack? Those are so. I think the official oh official Galactotron FM snack is jalapeno Cheetos. So whenever in our ship, we'll I don't just know have if like. Cheetos on board with that though. I don't know if he's on. Oh board. yeah, I don't know. Have you ever had jalapeno uh, Cheetos, Gino? You know? Look at him pondering. He's pondering. He's thinking. <gasps> he's like, I've had it. Apple. Cheetos. That's true. He Remember to like, like my tweet where I tweeted apple and there was an apple that I had eaten. I like apple. Which one? There's like three of them. Ah! Next yeah. question. Friday's Child asks, in, what's the inspiration behind Capture the Light from our hit album On Air? Out now in every single streaming service and also Bandcamp. Also check out On Air and all, I mean, I, that's what he said, but also check out <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, inspiration behind C Capture the Light. I uh, I was the chief writer, I guess, for that. But like, I sent a sample, with and I wrote the lyrics and everything. But basically, it's about overcoming adversity and breaking through, and you know, break through the night, finding the light, finding the light, finding hope. It's all about hope. That's my favorite. Lyric. Into the night, into the night, <laughs> space, into space and time. Um, Shino asks, uh, who gives the best hugs in GFM? I think I do. I'm just saying, though. Oh. I could see I that. I think we're going to have to have a hug off. We'll definitely need to hug. That'll be the first thing we do. We'll have a hug off. Today. You have a very pointy face, though. My face, <laughs> my face is quite pointy. Yeah, I think like, we oh, all hi. give pretty good hugs. I'll just say that. Fisher asks a question specifically for Eris. Most questionable kill and the least questionable. Well, Which Fisher, one? um... <laughs> what was the... <laughs> most questionable the kill? Least... <laughs> The most questionable and the least questionable kill. The least questionable kill I had, Fisher, definitely had to be the businessman that killed my creator because that was the first kill that started it all. And in my in my you know in my programming, it made the most sense because you know creator killed, and then I kind of went in protection mode and killed the person who killed him, and then afterward it just spiraled down from there. Uh, the most questionable kill was definitely like a sentient uh, raven that kind of like was causing terror on a city and a planet somewhere nebulous is there he saw it right right it was really yeah. weird like I, he literally arrived to the scene to stop him too and i literally like we had a bit of like a 
a, a, a team duo, but like it was so weird. I yeah. mean, it didn't take that much. I just had to shoot him, but like, I, ju- I, just made I told sense. him not to. I said, but yeah, he tried. He tried negotiating with the thing. It, it tried like brainwashing him, and that's when I shot it. Mm. Yeah, it was really weird though. I appreciate I that, but I yeah, mean, there were different like, ways to do it. But I mean, we have different uh, agendas. I mean, different. It's all good. It's fine. I go by my agenda. We asked a whole bunch of questions. Oh my, uh, oh my god. First question Show your cats? No. No. Yeah, you're gonna have to like <laughs> put them in. This one right here. There's like two of them. Put them up. Put them up. Yeah, put them oh, up right dude. here. Follow my hand. I bet you can't. Bet you can't. Bet you can't. Uh, Bree also asked pie or cake, which is superior. Pie. 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 Um. There's a there's a third option, ice cream. It's not a, it's not a baked good though. You didn't yeah, ask but like, ice cream pie or no, cake. But like, pie or cake. When it, uh, cake. Ice cream is pretty dang good. <laughs> ice cream is my go-to dessert for sure. Mm. If we're deciding between pie and cake, which is the question, I'm uh, I, I kind of like cake. I, I don't, I'm a, being so wrong. It's my it's my interface. I swear, my my like... <laughs> favorite season. Bree also asked that favorite autumn. Season. Uh, yeah, I would autumn. say autumn or winter, because it sounds like autumn. I like the Halloween best, season. Best holidays are in best holidays season, definitely in autumn. That's like yeah, Thanksgiving. You get to eat Halloween, spooky. Well, then have. It. Uh okay. Uh, favorite musician that plays your own instrument. Which one? Like your favorite drummer. The band instrument. The communal band instrument. The communal band instrument. I like um, I like this guy named Benny Grubb. He's a good like uh. I think he's yeah. He's like it's like jazz. He's like a jazz drummer. Very technical. Very good. That's what kind of got me into the whole drumming scheme. I I uh, I I kind of like um, Lord Phobos, which is a given. Wait, um, you do? What? Dude, yeah, it, it's hard to believe, but Phobos, I I kind of like him. He's a cool guy. Uh, I also like Issei Noro. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it's the guitarist from Cassiopeia. Really, really good guitarist. Uh, and probably the undoubtedly best guitarist ever uh, Guthrie Govan I also like him my favorite bassists are Commander Meowch Joe Dart and probably Victor Bootman just cause he's the best bassist of all time also Sunny T oh, amazing so fucking bassist though oh. uh, I would say a favorite yeah. you're counting Talkbox as the instrument there's like three people that play Talkbox in the entire world. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you gotta go with Dr. Stone, that charismatic guy. That, that friendly boy. That, that mustache that... Right? Just, you can stare at Those forever. Guys. Um, We're talking keys. I've been listening to a lot of... Uh, Kevin Gaston way. From... From... Recording the Wong Notes. You guys fucking breathe me on those keys bro and uh like synthesis wise i gotta go with p thug from chromio next question uh <laughs> skull duggy slash dragon straza asks what does space really smell like does it smell like raspberries <sighs> raspberries uh literally mm-hmm. it's not even it's not even a, we're not fucking around. We're not we're fucking around. around. It's a serious it's fucking fine. answer, okay? You were expecting jokes. Oh, it smells like bacon <laughs> and eggs. Fucking get real, okay? <laughs> oh my it's god. Yeah. It's raspberries. raspberries. It's like a weird Next raspberry. question. Uh, Buggy uh, asked, how are you all so epic and cool? What we do. Here's how we are. Look at my jacket. <laughs> Put your Look at my jacket. It is a cool question. You're breathtaking. Uh, you're epic. 
our friends from Electria ask, uh, when are we going to do a collab album? Have me, I'm going their go, people. I'll diddle those keys all day long on that. I'll uh, have their people contact our people. Yeah. And we can yeah. Sign up. We'll get that I'll going. send you guys, the, I'll send you the email. You'll send, send an email? Yeah. yeah, I'll DM, I'll DM them the, the email. Poor man. <laughs> email what yeah. take hand write the email i'll send hand it to write them the email. take a picture like a rough draft. i'll send, I'll a send you guys a carrier pigeon with their email address and type the email send the email mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, print out the email print out the email give it to a carrier pigeon send that send over it back tell them to come back take a picture of the carrier pigeon with the email print that out also give that also to, give yeah, that to that the carrier pigeon also give that to the carrier pigeon <laughs> Uh, hey, that's copyright. Uh, I feel good. Uh, no. Yeah, we'll, we'll 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 be down to do a collab album someday. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tamara asks, "What? Who uh, is our dream collab for the band or just in general?" I think just maybe you can do your own solo collab if you want, but for the for band, the, I would say for the band. Definitely like twerp, probably obviously, mm -hmm. because any, any one of them. <laughs> yeah, it's it's twerp. It's that's how simple that's gonna be. Uh, solo stuff probably Mitch Murder because he's the yeah. he's the fucking he's the king of synthwave. And honestly, maybe Donny Benet because oh, oh, dude. those fucking bass lines that I can't get enough. Please, let's get Donny in here. Dude, that mustache and that... The uh, Don uh, himself. He's the, he's the Don. Simple as. Mr. Experience, man. Uh, Mr. Experience. I would like to have singers, like really good singers, like either RC or The Gambler from Proto Men. Yes. Kenny Ray. Mm. Uh, Dave One. Any fucking oh. Rich Alcoin as well. Rich Alcoin. Bro. Again, any if, good like vocalist. Don't I mention Dave One around me, bro. Go crazy. Dream collab is Romeo. Uh, Fyro, my son asks, do you think you'll be able to perform live someday, at some point in time, and uh, what Definitely. would our set list be? I think we definitely. Yeah, That's yeah the goal. I, I think Capture the Light would probably be there. Capture the Light and Fifth Dimension are most likely going to be on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we're on air probably as well. Positive moves, positive moves as well, though. Probably, well, yeah. well, maybe. Get the we'll crowd see. fucking... But, yeah, because, I mean, by the time we actually play live, we're probably going to have two to three more albums than we have now, I would say. Yeah. Unless you fund our Kickstarter right now. So, we have a Kickstarter? We don't have a Kickstarter. We should have. Unfortunately. The Vape Concept of Stairs asks, what's our dream tour location? I mean, Japan? Uh, Japan. For me, at least. Japan. Yeah. Japan, Japan, would, Japan. would be nice. Japan! I would say right here in uh, Orlando, Hard Rock Cafe. I like that venue a lot, and I've mm -hmm. been to a lot of shows there, and I think it'd be cool to play there. The Opera House, because Porp has played there several times. Honestly, we'd, we'd play anywhere. We'd play in your fucking bedroom if you let us. So. Honestly, you bro, if you yeah. <laughs> get us over there, you, we, you don't even have to like pay us. You just pay busy. us for, like, the trip. Yeah, we don't don't even have to pay us. You, can't, you invite us over, we're, we're coming. Yeah, and, we're, we're, just pay, us, pay me for the trip at least. You give us gas, yeah. buddy. You mm. gotta, Give us gotta, snacks. We, we don't even uh, need lodging. We'll sleep in the car or something. Dude, right? Yeah. Or we'll all sleep on your roof, but we don't. We won't tell you that. Huh? In, in your walls. Final question from our friend Funk Delicatessen. Oh. The best thing that's happened to us as a whole this year. What is the best thing that's happened to us as a whole <sighs> this, this year? Guys. Meeting the beating the fellas. Um, after that, I'd probably say Fifth Dimension going beyond 1,000 streams on Spotify and on YouTube. Yeah. Like in total, from between YouTube and Spotify, it's like 3,000 streams. <laughs> what is he doing? It's insane. Crazy, bro. But yeah, uh, 
there's been a lot of awesome things. Uh, our videos reaching hundreds of views, which is insane. Uh, That's pretty cool. Yeah, our first album was pretty successful, and yeah, Fifth Dimension. And yeah, we've gotten a the lot general reception of we've, our band. We've, yeah, <laughs> we've gotten a, we've gotten a lot further than I d I thought we would have in our first year. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. And yeah. I'm just excited to see what more we can do. Okay, someone has to do an outro. <laughs> okay, thank you for all the questions. Have a good time.